Question 36. Uh, I'm doing this one on the computer because it's just too much to write for the board. But let's take a look at question 36 here. Consider the following Java code. The question is, what is printed by the execution of test class dot main? And what we can see is uh, the first thing that happens in test class dot main is it uh, declares uh, a term here obj and it's a new subclass now the, the type is base class but as we can see here subclass extends base class so it's just defined as a subclass and it has the object it has the the, the function the first print command is obj.print well, let's see what happens. We have subclass is the type of uh, item that we're that we're printing here. OBJ is base class type, but subclass extends base class, and it was you know created as a new subclass here. So in subclass, the data is 202, and the function print that one overloads this function here print. So this one's going to be the, the one that's going to be be happening. And so the, the first item that gets printed out here is going to be 20, this 202 right here. Now the next command is obj fun here. Uh, <coughs> obj again is still a subclass though, so the function here fun is declared in base class. That function still applies, but there's no data associated with it. So the uh, the OBJ is still this subclass. So you're still going to get 202. The first one's 202. The second one's 202. Now the third one here says system dot out dot print OBJ data. Um, now OBJ is this base class here and data is 101 so it should be printing out 101 it's very it specifically says obj dot data um, and anyway so that's what the answer is the answer is D 202, 202, 101.